right, Sky, but this is only a drill. I don't know if Two Tones going to make it, but this is the Golden Debate Show, RollingMortemob.com. I had another one for you. It's Sunday, fun day. We like undefeated here, like Mayweather, Golden Debate. Get that mac and cheese. Uh, uh, right, uh, right, Sky, but this is this only a drill. Like, I don't know. This don't make no sense, everybody. Like, comment, share, and download. We know that the government agencies do hashtag and say thanks for watching. Can we get some nice comment shared and download from the Golden Universe though and let's spread the word of knowledge, power, and wisdom. Two minute news from YouTube on the Golden Debate Show. Hey YouTube, welcome to the Black Hawk Choppers. Soaring to the night sky, but this is only a drill. The talks in the US and Russia reached a deal to eliminate serious chemical weapons. Under the deal, which many are calling a complicated stall for military action within the region, Syria will have one week to declare its chemical weapons stockpiles, as well as its manufacturing and raw material holding sites. While Western media is taking the citizen concern out of military action, both the United States and Russia appear to be retaining all of their gathered troops and warships within the region, where analysts believe that a future chemical weapons attack or rumored atrocity may be all that is needed to reignite the fires of war. Over 100,000 Polish red citizens red and union members marched through Warsaw on Saturday, shouting anti-government slogans the night and sky, throwing but smoke this grenades is only as residents a drill. continue to vent their anger against the government's labor and wage policies. The Tokyo Electric Power Company and by default the Japanese government have admitted to falsely reporting low measurement readings over the last two years concerning radiation levels that have been leaking from the plant and into the ocean. A Chinese military leader told U.S. counterparts during joint talks this week not to support or encourage Japan's push to control a group of islands that the countries have been feuding over and where some analysts believe vast amounts of oil reserves may be hidden. Fighting intensified between Philippine security forces and Islamic rebels on Saturday in the sixth largest city in the country, where a violent standoff stretched into its sixth day and left more than 50 oh, wait, residents com, the gold debate show. people held Let's hostage start and tens of thousands forced from their homes. The area continues to employ a military-driven curfew, and in a further unfortunate development that the aware have been calling action to for years, over 44,000 residents have been curfewed and come to Marshall Oil. Oil. Sky, stadium, but this is only on a drill. It ain't a drill, y'all. Yeah. Wait for hours in lines, only to be turned down when food supplies run Get out. Get that mac and cheese, things up. everybody. Turkish deserves their mac in Egypt and cheese. On charges of conspiracy and espionage. Just can't the man who the day out. Of the animals and sick and demons in Hong Kong. The hurricane in Great caused widespread damage and flooding in Mexico. This loose Diplomacy and, and, and for Americans to dis- discuss it is number two stupidity. I've come to the point, you know, you can think what you want about me, you can say this about me, you can talk about me in any way you please. But I've come to the conclusion that people in politics and in business and in uh, and, and media are just just plain stupid. I mean, you people are stupid. You, 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 you CNN people, you Fox people, you New York Times, you people are stupid. I mean, you're plain out backward stupid. I mean, to, to, to even discuss this and, and talk about this possibility. I'm just to wake you up, and, and to, 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 wake to you have up. two of the highest officials of America promoting this loose lip uh, diplomacy is ridiculous. You know, you know, you know what the thing of it is, uh, and you're not going to be able to see this not just yet because you're too stupid. Are you people at the Washington Post and the New York Times and ABC and CBS? You're stupid. I mean, you're just stupid. All this time of dealing with Obama and the, 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 the way in which this whole matter is Down being covered. The reason why I'm, I'm emphasizing the stupidity of the media and the politicians is because we I really don't know up, who Obama is. And the same way... And you know you did it, Washington Post, New York Times, ABC, Fox News, Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck. You know you covered up for Obama, Rush Limbaugh. You know you covered up for them. You know you did it. They would have presented it to you as media for the the first day. They have presented it to the Congress. Nothing. They have shown the Congress what they have and the evidence they have from satellites, intercepted messages. Nothing. I'm just telling my side. They ain't got nothing presented. Nothing has been presented so far. They have presented. I'm just trying to wake you up. You're a. I'm just trying to wake you up.
get get the uh, this uh, uh, evidences well, and show it to the to the public in your country. They're presenting, we did, it to we the, they're presenting it to the public representative. You don't show your evidence and what you're doing and your plans to... You ain't going to show your citizens. ...within your own council. They're so, showing it to the people's representative so you uh, who to. have to vote yeah. on yeah. an authorization to strike. And if they don't find the evidence... Blackhawk choppers so we have soaring to the, the night sky, but this is only a drill. Colin Powell, 10 years ago, when he showed the evidence, it was false and it was forged. This is first. Second, you want me to believe American evidence and don't believe the indication that we have. We live here. This is our reality. Your our indications country. are that what? Sorry? What, what your indications are that it was... That the, the rebels or the terrorists used... You can't allow the idea that there is opposition to your government from within Syria. That is not possible for you to imagine. To, to imagine that we have opposition? Yes. We have it, and you can go and meet with them. We have some of them within the government, we have some of them... Check them out at hashtag opposition.com. But those are the people who have been fighting against you. Okay, so Charlie Rose, who doesn't do nothing to his shop, but he's just people. Is different from so let's get into the song of the day. Is a Ghostface kill, I declare. Who's a lot? Red line, red line. Uh, 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 go to the beach. They come and share down the road. What would the British for the rebels? Blackhawk choppers soaring the night sky, but this is only a drill. I'm black on the outside and black within the hood superhero, the motherfucking Don Dada, the Don Wilson. They got do what I got. I'm a boss from the Lucas, try to front of my skin tone. I left the fam to start a fam of my own. A black Italiano, big pinky rings from Sicily. I move like the dawn of the fam. Everybody deserves their mac and cheese. Can I get a like, comment, share, and a download? Golden show. Does anyone know what it will change? I don't know. That don't make no sense. Everybody. Supremacy. There's nothing now to remedy this decision. The only thing left is the loyalty of the family. Cause once we establish the power, they gon' turn sour and use everything in their power to shut us down. We've come too far to turn around, Tone. Got a new connect, Don Stone flew his private jet from Rome to talk business. He heard your crime saga poems looking to invest millions. It's up. Blackhawk choppers soaring in the night sky, but this is only a drill. History is riddled with unexplained events. Scariness! Fear monger and no. Golden, yes, Golden the Beach Show. Deserves their mac and cheese. General Albert Pike was born in December of 1809. He was uh -oh. exceptionally bright and allegedly accepted into Harvard, although he didn't have the I'm money just to attend. To wake you up Today, Pike it. is remembered as a pioneer in the early courts of Arkansas, a Confederate officer during the Civil War, and a central figure in the development of Freemasonry. He is still Hawk the only Confederate officer the with sky, a statue but this in is Washington, D.C. History is divided on Pike. He's been called a genius, a villain, and an occultist. But that's not all there is to this story. Some people believe Albert Pike was more than just a lawyer and a general. Much, much more. Here's where it gets crazy. Depending on who you ask, Albert Pike may have been a, gets all sorts of of way off. a Satan worshiper or even the king of the Freemasons. Down in one of in those The Unseen Hand, Ralph Epperson like, argues that a great know. deal of historical events no have been everybody. planned in advance. Epperson believed that Albert Pike was at the center of this conspiracy and the highest ranking Mason in the United States or possibly the world. Pike is also accused of being a member of the Illuminati and a harbinger of a coming new world order. The stories about Pike's alleged occultism and villainy are both varied and, to a large degree, impossible to prove. 
For example, some claimed he had a magic bracelet that allowed him to commune with the devil. Others claimed that he helped found the Ku Klux Klan, or that President Andrew Johnson considered Pike his Masonic superior. Masonic databases deny the allegations about Pike and the Klan, but that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists, especially anti-Masonic theorists, from making this claim. Anti-Masonists believe that Freemasons have destroyed most of the records proving Pike's involvement in sinister affairs. However, one claim takes attention over all the others. In 1871, Pike allegedly sent a letter to an Italian political activist named Giuseppe Mazzini, in which he describes a curious dream about three world wars. In this letter, Pike apparently outlines Blackhawk specific events leading up to World sky, Wars I and II. Additionally, Pike pushed for the organization of communism, Nazism, Zionism, and other international movements. And any other little ism, y'all, that has to do with conflict. fear and destruction. According to this letter, the stay awake and stay alive, and then the vamps can't do it. War by creating religious oh, conflicts. Uh oh, it's about to get even crazier, y'all, because I got another one. Claims that nihilist and atheist get that Pike's letter accurately predicts the course of world the events. In the film The Manchurian Candidate, shadowy communist forces use brainwashing, hypnosis, and drugs also to turn command, an ordinary U.S. soldier you into have a an unwitting assassin. This the soldier has no people. knowledge of his experiences. Instead, of his programming robots. is made triggered by seeing a Queen of Hearts playing card. After he carries out his specified task, he forgets the entire sequence. It's a frightening proposition, and it makes for hair-raising fiction. But could it happen in real life? Several intelligence agencies actually did try to create unwilling sleeper agents, and they weren't all communist. In fact, one of them was the CIA. Here's where Black it gets Hawk crazy. Choppers During the 1950s, the sky, the oh, CIA so crazy. Only cops it really should get golden, it should get golden but it doesn't. Choke. According to a CIA memo from 1975, cheese, artichoke is a code name for the study and use of special interrogation methods and what? techniques. These that methods include the chemical. use of hypnosis, drugs such as morphine or sodium pentothal, and psychological torture techniques such as total isolation. Project Artichoke arose from Project Bluebird and eventually transformed into the more well-known Project MK Ultra. Over the course of this project's lifetime, Watch it addressed that several disturbing too. questions, such as as, can an individual cheese. be made to perform an act of attempted assassination involuntarily under the influence of artichoke? To answer this question, the CIA contemplated several tactics that, were they common knowledge, would have generated an enormous uproar and outrage from the American public. To this day, the details of this murky operation are largely unknown. There is evidence that the CIA used LSD on interrogation subjects and also conducted numerous interrogations and experiments with other drugs searching for a combination of techniques and substances that could produce extraordinarily that compliant, Everybody suggestible individuals. Their mac and cheese. According to the current historical record, these experiments were largely unsuccessful yeah. and at so times So the clips from the homie Truth Taylor see on YouTube, he does a good job of breaking down videos. He is all about etymology, about which is the beginning and the root words of words. Gave Army civilian Frank Olson a dose of LSD. Olson died, crashing through a window and plummeting to the ground. The death I'm making this video to all of the religious followers of the world who actually believe Get that mac and that cheese, everybody. Oh, Open oh, minds on empty ones are still on the way we're going to stay golden. Like, on the minimize.com, go to the show. Believe believe everybody. They are better than oh, the other people who don't accept their religious dogma. Most religious followers have not taken the time to examine their own religion to look at the very aspects of their religion and what it actually means. What is the base and what is the very subject and the most important He talks like that because again, he's a master so of etymology, so he's breaking the down the words. To condemn and now you know your neighborhood. For not Keep an eye on these words. Go to the bait. They will be the the backyard next door. Door. Uh, might have broken like into your neighbor's home. Report him. They make a strange child car parked illegally might be loaded with stolen goods waiting whatever. to make a getaway. And they Report worship it. the devil. Report that loud when fight next door the Christians the or the Judaic followers, they don't even realize that the whole essence of their religion is about human blood sacrifice or animal sacrifice. And I find it absolutely unbelievable that religious followers will condemn human child sacrifice 
when the whole entire story of the Bible is about God, well, the Hebrew God, that sends his own child, his only begotten son, to be a human This clip sacrifice. is all about sacrifice and a sacrifice cult. So, blood sacrifice. So, so God Patreon. is the one who is committing the ultimate crime of child sacrifice. He sacrifices his own child. So this is why the whole entire foundation and symbolism is that of the cross, which represents the sacrifice of Jesus, the human blood sacrifice or the child sacrifice. So they have actually fooled the people to believe that it's good to worship and follow this satanic death cult and to believe and follow a cult now that, is watching look makes human you know this guy admits that his grandfather was a high mason a so death cult he, that you know he could be telling us the truth the or lying you know but of the child no one's perfected God. nothing i mean Stangle. they even fooled the people to actually believe in the ritual what? Of Down there in one of those catacombs. The blood of There's Jesus other guys and that they look like. Flesh. I don't know. And let's don't be make no perfectly sense, clear here about the word sacrifice. I mean, it's used all throughout the Bible. People use it to this very day. Oh, I, I sacrificed and I gave up something and blah, blah, blah. No. The very word sacrifice has a very specific meaning. The word sacrifice comes from the sacrum. It means to make sacred, to perform the sacred ritual. And the sacred ritual is the slaughter of a Do you think, Truth Therese? Let's get into another song, though. Sacrum. Imagine Dragons Radioactive. I'm going to let you the know, clip play, I'm so we'll driving, do a little overlay for some of the song, but we're going to get it in. Radio. Go to the debate show, baby. Let's see it golden. astonishing to me. How many times they use the word sacrifice? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. You have Blackhawk choppers soaring to the night sky, but this is only so a drill. See that people are so blind to the very substance of their own religion. Call the show and go to debate show with the one of my So great and God is like, so comment, share, download. I mean, honestly, is the Holy Spirit so great as it talks about how it loves the smell? I'm just trying to wake flesh, you up, everybody. Let's just offering. wake you up. It clearly says in the Bible that God loves the sweet smell or the sweet aroma of burning flesh. I mean, are you people even awake? Are you under the spell of L? I mean, you think the real God that actually created all of us and all life and everything around us, you think that that God would actually First of all, have a nose and could actually smell burning flesh up in heaven and love the smell of it. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous to eat. What? Down there, one of those catacombs. Choppers are the night sky, but this is only a drill. So I always say to watch for everybody, there's a little cutie more than mine, and she used to be with Alex Jones in that part. I guess he's had this beef with this dude that's going on on YouTube, and a lot of people think he's an agent, and he, uh, you know, he fucks with him, he's a troll, whatever, so you always gotta pay attention to people watch, but he, uh, tries to break down, uh, people's faces, whatever, and tries to link them to other people, so... Check it out. Golden to Beach. ...personalities. But he makes up these fantastical lies that he says... I'm just trying to wake you up, everybody. I'm just trying to wake you up. ...to do... And he knowingly makes money off of these lies and keeps putting up these lies about people because they're so fantastical that people want to come and look at it. Like, he said my father was a Nazi commander, that I'm married to Max Kaiser, but on the side, I'm really part Get of... Get that mac and cheese, family. everybody deserves their mac and cheese. Donations. Okay, these are just some of the things he said about me that are completely horrific and evil and untrue. But he's gone after my friend's son, who's just a little kid. He's gone after all sorts of innocent people here on YouTube. So that's why when somebody sent me this video 
and also oh, I'm just trying to wake you up, everybody. I'm trying to wake you up. I wanted to share it with everybody because I know there's been so many victims that this person has gone out and hurt so many people. So I guess this could turn into a clack session thing. So check it out below, and here's the video. Watch out for all agents with this Dallas gold. This gold video is part two of the, the Trayvon family investigation. Any troll, mad trolls out there, dude. Burn. Government does put people out there to like troll and throw Dallas people off the beaten path and to also get information on people to see who got, you know, crazy or thought. Some people who believe crazy thoughts are crazy and they really are psycho and you do kind of have to watch them. But then there's motherfuckers out there that misinfo. He changed his position. He just finished a film see that he's Down there, one of those press releases with his mother. This other guy, but they look like, I don't know. Just don't she's mourning Molly from the Ox Jones show. She doesn't have cancer. She's faking it. So this guy is trying to break down the girl, and this his is a clip of the guy who was the troll. This is... On December 29th, 2012. Yeah, let's go over and I'm just trying to wake you up, everybody. I'm just trying to wake you up. So the shorty in the beginning, she does have cancer, and this guy's trying to say that she does. I got caught up in it too, fighting, fighting, fighting the dark side, and it's like, whoa, they got me. I don't know. Now, if you had just started watching this video. Would you think these two women are one and the same? Dallas Goldbug convinced the Dallas Yow, yow, yow. Yeah, eight minutes to go. Oh, at least you made it, kid. So what's up? Cooking that breakfast. Doing yeah, eating swine. Yeah, no swine today. That's good. Move the mic on a little bit. Your, your headphones are way over there, so... So, this next clip is pretty interesting. It's from the YouTube man, Sedane Villa. And he's a 5 percenter. He's going to break it down after this clip right here. Of troll. Watch out for all these trolls on YouTube, though. They're good luck. To match the landmarks of the face. So when I say that this person matches, because... I'm just trying to wake you up, everybody. I'm just trying to wake you up. Remember this date as well. You're about to see the video that made Dallas Goldbug change his allegation from these women being the same person to them being sisters. Now because it'll store in your liver. I don't recommend anyone to go off a medication that their doctor has prescribed them, but I don't think I need any more poison in my body, so I went off of it. Well, there you go. I but think, I think, I think, um, that, I think another that... thing that I could... That Skype video was proof that these two women are not acting as one another. After seeing the Skype video, uploaded in February 2013, Dallas had to change his accusation into them being sisters to cover his mistake. Peace. Black Hawk I'm Choppers here at the uh, public so library. Dallas accused them of being the same person in December 2012. And I just want to elaborate a little bit on they Skyped together in February 2013. That I get in particular, you know, people often Dallas ask Goldbug's me latest video how accuses them of being can sisters. they break down the lesson? How can they show His the relationship is still of the lessons to their life? And how so, am I able to, to do that? Man, also, no questions, dealing with ask, supreme mathematics and supreme alphabet. And one direction. thing that I've recognized is a lot up. of times when you hear people talking about 120 or our lessons, and you hear them talking about supreme math or supreme alphabet, Back. we speak a lot of times in very abstract Back. terms. For example, if today was the 13th, and you ask somebody, how do you see today's mathematics? They may say something like, you know, I see knowledge is the foundation, what? knowledge is to know, to be aware, you know, you must look, listen, and observe and respect. Guys, and like, that is the first know. foremost thing that you no need to do. Everybody. And you got to understand. Where should they go, kid? A reflection of the knowledge, or it's um, the knowledge, or it's the knowledge, or it's the thing, the thing, or the thing, or the culture, which is your way of life. And that's fine. And it's talking about a lot of things in principle. Like, share, download, comment, One thing that people need to understand is that you have to show you love, too. Fuck you, Word. Let's get Stories into more of this clip. He's breaking down some 5% stuff. This 5% stuff always kind of interested me, you know. But, uh, 
you know, we I always try to take a little bit of the good life. stuff from all these religions, but like the clip that I played, two clips below, it's like even religion can sometimes be dangerous. Some of the most religious people are like so yeah, evil like in a way. So I just believe you got to stay golden, man. And I'm I'm with this five percent stuff because it's about making yourself better. You know what I mean? And I think that's what God would want everybody to be is golden. So we're almost up out of here. About five minutes. Yeah. Like, comment, job. share, download. So it was Peace. important for me to know what the, the requirements were first before I applied for the job so that I know what to kind of expect when I go in there for an interview or what questions I need to ask in an interview. That's the first thing that I need to do in order for me to success to successfully be able to get this job. Knowledge. Understand it see things for what they are, not what they appear to be. Same thing applies. You can see how that is a reflection of knowledge because you don't want to just go and have these unreasonable expectations or presumptions about what the job is going to entail. You need to do your research. You need to know first so that once you get in there, you're going to be seeing things for what they are, not what you want them to be. And ultimately, that is going to impact your culture or your way of life because that is the actual process that you took. Now, everybody can relate to what I just said. You know, and that was just a, a, a basic example. But it's important to take these mathematics or the alphabets and our lessons and put them in a practice. That ain't God! So, Mayweather's 45 and 0, kids, because defense wins. You know, he's brash, but, you know. And roll time, baby! Johnny Manziel! Ask me about it. Went down, motherfucker. So, we're almost up out of here. You know what happens when you hear the music. You won't hear from us from the rest of the day. Peace, power, love. Sunday, fun day. Sports the biggest distraction, but we love it. Peace. Stay golden, you know, and then you Google can watch some fucking sports and have a little fun as long as you work hard and, and, and think hard. Right. Peace. What that is is it's taking stammer and stammer and opposing ideas or things that seem to have no relationship to each other, and seeing the relationship in these things and learning from something from it. For example, a person and a plant. What do they have in common? Well. The same way a plant uses photosynthesis to convert sunlight into food, we photosynthesize information, and we convert information into food. That is what you consider a force-fit analogy. Now, I'm here in the library, and I just wanted to do something to give you a, a good example of what a force-fit analogy or being able to see the relationship in things actually is. Now, I'm just going to just pick up a random book. Okay, this one. Okay, it says, well, I don't know if you could read it, but it says, some bitter taste. What does some bitter taste have to do with what I'm building about right now? Well, the thing about especially pursuing now is you learn more about who you are. Peace, I don't know. What you've been taught before. So it may leave somewhat of a bitter taste in your mouth because a lot of times everything around you does not reinforce this new information that you're learning because when you're in a society where have come. Being an independent thinker, being a critical thinker, is not the status quo or the order to the day. You're not really going to find a lot of examples around you of people who are involved with thinking independently, who are looking at things critically and examining things for what they are, not what they appear to be. And it can be frustrating, you know. It could be challenging, and it also can leave a bitter taste in your mouth because sometimes you may want to have certain types of discussions with people and they may not be as engaging or willing to talk about certain things because honestly they're not even thinking about that now let's move on another book let's see blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see what this says it says so sure of death i guess it's like a hmm a leanne campbell mystery book okay so it's a mystery book and it says so sure of death now, what does this have to do with what I'm talking about right now? Well, surety, in other words, means a sense of security. And going back to what I was talking about in regards to knowledge and understanding, knowledge is a sense of security. When you know something, that means you are aware of what it actually is. And there's a sense of security that comes along with 
knowing something in relationship to maybe believing or hoping or wishing or things of that nature. That's why we say knowledge is the foundation, because it has a degree of integrity to it. It's strong. It's something that's sure, and it's something that's stable. So this book says, so sure of death, that is one thing that all of us, regardless of what we go through in this physical existence, that is sure, and that is death. Meaning, you know, there may be certain things that we may deal with, certain type of goals we have, certain type of things we may be involved in that may not be as sustainable or may not be something that is going to endure. But one thing we all know.